Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use faceting option in your Apache Solar interface. So at the bottom you will be having an option called facet checkbox. When you click it, you will be able to see some extra fields which are dependent to facet. So first one is facet query. So facet query is you can do a query for your facet. So first uh, I'm going to query for price colon open i'm going to this is a price field so i'm going to display the uh, facet display how many number of item available for this particular range for the price range okay so one to hundred for one to hundred how many prices items are available i'm going to show it now so when you execute it and you scroll down at the bottom so you can see here for 1 to 100, there are 4 items available for this price range. And next is facet field. So which field do you want to use facet? I am giving price and scrolling down. And when you scroll down here, here you can see all the facet items are coming. And this is a range, for this range, What how many items are available that is showing here. Okay, so this is 1 to 100, right? three so this is one two means one two three four this will not come because this is zero so there are four item which is uh, showing here and this is the facet item for the price and then uh, let's remove this and next one is prefix so i'm going to show the cat item and the prefix of electronics so category this is the category I'm going to show only category which has electronics in the prefix. So when you execute it and scroll down, here you can see the categories which has electronics, only those are displaying here, okay? And then next is contains. So contains is like a like query. So when you use electron here and scroll down, execute it. At the bottom, you can see it is showing electronics, which has electron in it. So you can use another string also if you want, like connect and execute. You can see the facet is showing for connector. So that is what connect is doing. Sorry, contains is doing. And next is ignore case. So when you use ignore case, you can use any capital letter here, like whatever you want, and then execute it. And then execute it. So once you execute it and scroll down, you can see it is showing the connector item here. And next is facet dot limit. So facet dot limit, it will limit your facet item, which means when you execute it, it will be around 10 to 15, I think. The facet item when you scroll down it contains around 10 to 15 so you can limit this facet item by giving five here and then uh, execute it when you scroll down you can see only the five facet items are showing here and then next is facet matches facet matches will be used for uh, uh, regular expressions so when you use like this regular expression so the word which is starts with e that will be coming here in your facet so you can see only electronics is coming so when you scroll up again and i want to add e with another uh, character called m so any category which is starting with m all those will be listed now so when you scroll down, electronics, memory, and uh, music. So it is displaying all E and M characters starting words. Okay. And next is facet sorting. So when you, you can do sorting with this, when you use count, so it will be sorting in a descending order of count 12, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then uh, next is minimum count. So, and you scroll down here, 
some facet contains only one item for some facet contains two some facet contains three so when you want to show only facet item which has more than two you can use three here so it will skip all the facet item which has two and one item in it so when you use three and execute so it will be it is showing that three four twelve here and then next is facet missing we are having around 32 content here right so some content will not contain the category field itself right so those are the facet missing items so how many are there without a, this facet item so when you give this and scroll down you can see there are 12 content which doesn't have facet item in it okay and then that's it about today's video if you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.